Hello everyone, welcome to part 8 of Laravel 11 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website with Laravel and MongoDB and in this video we are going to work on the admin panel login, login and logout functionality okay so uh, let's start working on this thing and in the last video we able to uh, insert uh, one record in the admin table so that we can use that record to login into the admin panel uh, you can see that this is the record that we have uh, generated in the last video with the help of Cedar and this is the secure password that we are going to use that is the hash secure password of Laravel that we are going to use for the login okay so uh, I'm going to close these files and now first of all I'm going to open that login.blade.php file in which I'm going to uh, update the form this is the form okay I'm going to update its URL uh, to the route that we have earlier created URL admin uh, we are going to uh, add it like the admin slash login okay so this is the route that we required and after this we are going to add the csrf token as well and uh, in email input type uh, here i'm going to add here the name as email as well okay uh, and here uh, name as password as well okay type is password that is fine and after this uh, submit function submit button is also fine okay so i'm going to update the login function now in admin controller uh, this is the login function that we have generated earlier okay uh, so request dollar request here because as we are going to accept the data from the user okay in post method so here we are going to accept the data in post method request is method post here the data will come dollar data dollar request all So first of all, we are going to debug our code uh, that data is going correctly there. Okay, I'm going to refresh it once and we'll uh, click on sign in and here you can see the email as well as the password is going there. Okay, so here we are getting this data and now we are going to uh, check this data is accurate or not. We are going to compare it with the data that is located inside our admins collection. Okay. Here we are going to uh, compare it with the email as well as the password uh, with the auth guard that we have generated in the last few videos we have generated the guard for the admin so we are going to compare it with that like uh, we use the auth attempt in the case of user here we are going to use the auth guard admin auth guard we are going to use and which guard that is the admin guard we are going to check we are going to use the attempt uh, attempt uh, okay uh, attempt keyword of laravel to check whether the details whether whether the credentials are correct or not okay first of all i'm going to check the email dollar data email and after that we are going to check the password as well here the password i'm going to compare it with the password as well and dollar data password Okay, if both are correct then we are going uh, then the user is we are going to redirect the user to the dashboard page return redirect we will redirect the user to the dashboard page admin dashboard and if in case uh, the data is incorrect one of the uh, like username or password is incorrect then we will show the error message to the user uh, to the uh, at the login admin login page itself okay so we will return redirect back the user with the error message uh, with error message uh, so we are going to show the uh, error message standard error, error, error message that is the invalid email or password So we are going to modify now the header blade file 
but first of all we will try to log in after that we are going to modify first we will try to log in that we able to log in or not okay i'm going back and refresh here and uh, we'll remove this uh, is not required uh, let's uh, first uh, put the incorrect if we put the incorrect see we uh, see we are required here the auth okay use auth add use auth at the top of the admin controller and then once again we will try with incorrect see we are moving redacting back okay and if the username and password is in is correct then in that case we reach the dashboard page okay so see dashboard we can able to assess the dashboard only if the username and password is correct okay so it's working fine and now in case of error message we are showing the invalid email and password but here but first of all we will require here the logout uh, uh, as well we can add the logout here like uh, here we can add home and logout and this all unwanted data we can remove uh, so we will update the header blade file here i'm going to open the header blade file and we lay out header blade file so here i am going to uh, remove a few of the things like uh, here is no contact is not required here okay so i'm going to remove this contact and here uh, in home uh, we can put here the dashboard url admin dashboard okay and other than this uh, right now bar links and here uh, inside uh, like class and here so this thing i'm going to copy from here and we'll put it here okay so this one also is not required see all these are the unwanted code that we can remove not required at all so here uh, we can put here the admin logout let's see now how it looks and here you can see the logout okay fine and here is the home so it seems to be fine now okay home as well as the logout okay uh, you can show the icon as well okay or you can show from that data that we have moved okay anything you can update at your end uh, so i'm going to create this admin logout uh, route and that we are going to create inside the middleware admin because this is only accessible for the user who are logged in okay logout and uh, just the get is enough so we are not required to give this get post both and okay so here we will also create its function logout function uh, public function logout and in that function we will simply log out the guard or guard admin logout okay this is a kind of syntax that we are required to write and return redact we will redact the user back to the login page admin login page okay and uh, now see we will search there uh, error message uh, alert okay uh, we're going to search error uh, here uh, we will search for some boots uh, alert message error message alert bootstrap okay so that we can show the error message i'm going to open one of the bootstrap links and here i'm going to copy this one this one looks fine okay here you can see so i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste it in login.blade.php file and here i'm going to paste this message okay and here we're going to keep it like this okay and here uh if session has error message and here 
with Andy. And this error message we are going to show here. If there is actually error message, then we are going to show it. Just one bit. And here we are going to give here the error. so now it seems to be fine okay let's see uh, like if i'm going to log out yes we are able to log out so i'm going to use the wrong password here it will try to click on sign in and here you can see the invalid email or password uh, is coming okay so it is working fine like if we're, if we're going to put the right email as well as the password here like admin at the rate of admin as email and password is one two three four five six okay then uh, we able to log in into the admin panel you can see with the right username and password we can able to log in into the admin panel uh, and we can able to log out as well but if we are going to put the wrong email and password then we are not able to log in into the admin panel okay and here we are showing the error message in case the email and password is incorrect okay uh, and see you can't able to uh, assess the dashboard page for dashboard page we are required to log in into the admin panel okay uh, so uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye